surprise what should i call it diwali surprise in between short short authors summaries biographies their works i thought let's take a breather and do an mcq mcq is based on a very prominent british writer virginia wolf so come on let's start there are going to be multiple choice questions their answers i will explain them to you it will be a lot of fun are you ready yes you are question number 1 are these are important now huh? from examination point of view many of these questions are taken from past year question papers so don't go anywhere and also if you don't comment on our videos i'm sure you should comment of course like all our videos share them with your friends and relatives you know the kind of hard work each video takes in itself and your appreciation matters a lot arrange the following novels of virginia wolf chronologically The novels are one, the voyage out; two, between the acts; three, to the lighthouse; four, Mrs. Dalloway; and five, the waves. Choose from the options given below. Can you arrange these novels by Virginia chronologically? You know, it has to be option second. because between the acts is her last novel from what i know and the voyage out is her first novel from what i know first and last i know and there's just one option which has one at the first and second at the last it is option b i've written their years of publication come let's read them the voyage out published in 1915 followed by mrs dalloway published 1925 followed by to the lighthouse published 1927 followed by the waves published 1931 followed by between the acts 1941 all right let's move on question number 2 in orlando a biography what significant transformation does the main character orlando undergo which means what happens to orlando in orlando a biography virginia woolf's novel A he travels through time B he metamorphosizes from a man to a woman C he loses his memory or D he becomes a famous painter From what I know Orlando is a poet he does not lose his memory in fact he lives along he meets people from different eras authors from different eras it has to be option B from a man Orlando becomes a woman and a very important point is there's a poem which orlando writes for nearly 300 years the name of this poem is the oak tree and this poem the oak tree actually represents orlando's identity as a poet and this novel orlando a biography explores gender identity and gender fluidity there is no fixed definition of a male or a female or sexuality that is what orlando tells us yes are you ready for question number 3 here it is wolf called a novel of hers not a novel but a play poem which work did she refer to this is not a novel it's a play poem option a between the acts option b the waves option c orlando a biography or option d none of the above na 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 it can't be orlando it can't be between the acts i think it's option b how do i uh, you know act as if i don't know the answers i have made these questions i mean i've written them so i know the answers just trying to build this up suspense and just trying to think how you will think when such questions come in exams so yes it is option b the waves which talks about the mental makeup or the mental turmoil of six characters yes the waves blurs the distinction between prose and poetry it allows the novel to flow between six interior monologues lives of six people are discussed in the waves it is an example of collective consciousness narrative theek the waves by virginia chale question number 4 pe here it is arrange the following essays by virginia wolf chronologically after novels let's talk about her essays one a room of one's own two three guineas three moments of being and four the death of the moth and other essays can you arrange these very important essays by virginia wolf chronologically you can it is look 
The first one is A Room of One's Own, which is published in 1929, followed by option two, Three Guineas follow, uh, of 1938, followed by four, The Death of the Moth and Other Essays of 1942, followed by Moments of Being of 1976. So it is one, two, four, three, which means which option is correct? A. Yes, I haven't bolded it. I forgot it. But don't worry. It is option A, 1, 2, 4, 3. Cheek? Yaad kar lo, yaar. Ears to yaad kar lo, at least for Virginia Woolf's works. <laughs> All right. Moments of being. I thought I will write a little bit about moments of being. Uh, published in 1976, posthumously, this collection includes Woolf's autobiographical essays and offers insights into her thoughts on memory and existence. So Woolf talks about memory and existence in Moments of Being, published posthumously in 1976. Room of One's Own, very famous, Death of Moth and Other Essays, famous, Three Guineas, famous, Thora Turan, just read about them on Google, so you will know the crux of them. Question number five. What is the primary argument that Virginia gives in a room of one's own? What does she want to convey through this essay, a room of one's own? A. Women should focus on domestic rules or roles. B. Women need financial independence and personal space to write. Maybe. C. Writing is a male-dominated field. It is, but then she tells that women have to do it. So that's not the primary argument. D, all literature should be gender neutral. No, she says, in fact, you should be very proud of your identity. Okay. As a female, you should act like a female. You can have your own unique things. You can have your USP as a female. So the correct answer has to be B. A woman needs financial independence, pesa pesa, and a personal space, which means a room of one's own with a lock to write. Take Question number six. In Three Guineas, Wolf discusses the connection between two concepts. They are A, war and love, B, gender and militarism, C, education and poverty, or D, art and politics. Three Guineas is a connection between gender and militarism. So it is option B. Three Guineas, thoda bata dete hai. 1938, Three Guineas is a work of non-fiction by Woolf. It was originally conceived as a novel essay that would include uh, elements of both fiction and no non-fiction. But Woolf soon raised, or she realized this thing, that the idea of the novel essay is not working. So she separated the two parts. The non-fiction became the Three Guineas, whereas the fiction became the Ears, the novel of 1937. Will you please remember... She started working on a novel essay which did not work out. So she separated the non-fiction and the fiction part. The non-fiction became Three Guineas of 1938. The fictionist novel became The Ears of 1937. Three Guineas connects militarism and misogyny with masculine symbols of authority. Virginia argued that unequal distribution of power between men and women is a key factor in the production of fascism. All right? Question number seven. What does the community prepare for in between the acts? Between the acts, the last novel of Virginia, here a community in the rural village of England is preparing for something important. What is it? A, harvest festival. B, theatrical play. C, wedding ceremony. Shadi shadi. Or D, a village meeting. It is a play, a play, a theatrical play. Option B. Between the Acts of 1941 is the final novel by Woolf, which is written in verse, verse, not prose, verse, a novel in verse, hailed as most lyrical work by Woolf. Setting is a small English village just before World War II. And subject is, it describes a play's performance, the audience of this play, the mounting of excitement of this play. In the lines of Virginia, the novel sums up and magnifies, sorry, not in the lines of Virginia, in the lines of a critic, what does the critic say for between the acts? This novel sums up and magnifies Wool's chief preoccupations, which are the transformation of life through art, sexual ambivalence, and meditation on the themes of flux of time and life presented simultaneously as corrosion and rejuvenation all set in a highly imaginative and symbolic narrative encompassing almost all of English history. Tarif kar rahe hai, bas ye maan lo. 
Mota Mota. Question number eight. In her writing career, Virginia Woolf wrote only one play. The name of that play is A. Modern Fiction, B. Fresh Water, C. Exiles, or D. The Borderers. The only play by Virginia Woolf is option B. Fresh Water, a comedy. It was published in 1935. And do you know, Lord Alfred Tennyson appears as a character in Fresh Water. Remember. Invitation card of this play, Mrs. Clive Bell and Mrs. Leonard Woolf, right? At home, Friday, January 18th, 9 p.m., Fresh Water, a comedy. Entrance, impossible after 9.30 p.m., 8 Fitzroy Street, W1, RSVP. Such a nice invitation card. Purani zamani ki yaad aagai. Ab to invitation cards bante nahi hai. Ab to all the invites through WhatsApp. Question number nine, identify the text in the following list, which offers the fictionalized survey of English literature from Elizabethan times to 1928. Which text actually talks of Elizabethan England until 1928? I told you there's a character who lives through various generations. Who is he? Orlando. So the answer has to be Orlando by Virginia Woolf. This is a past year question. Identify the text which offers a fictionalized survey of English literature from Elizabethan times to 1928 is answered to Orlando Virginia Woolf. The eponymous character, that is Orlando, lives from Elizabethan period till 1920s and Virginia was actually inspired by her girlfriend, Vita Sackville West, in writing Orlando. Question number 10. Kitne hai? Tera toodle? 20 questions. I'm going to stop after 10. We'll do 10 some other day. Who among the following dismissed Ulysses as a misfire? Who dismissed Ulysses as a misfire? A. E. M. Foster, B. D. H. Lawrence, C. Virginia Woolf, or D. J. M. Keynes? Who said Ulysses is a misfire? It is Virginia Woolf. She didn't like it, the work by James Joyce. Virginia Woolf criticized Ulysses by James Joyce, calling it underbred and illiterate. She did not like the book because of the graphic passages, because Joyce removed the author's traditional role of defining the action, and because of the erratic presentation. We're done for the day. I'm not doing 20 questions. We're done. We will do 10 more the other day. Some other day, not the other day, some other day. This is Ina from Team Walla. Take very good care of yourself. And of course, like this video, share it with your friends and relatives. Tata, bye-bye.